Hi, Peter Letterman of Soundsmith. Once again, disregard the UFO over my left shoulder. I want to talk about um, anti-skating. What is anti-skating? Well, I'm stunned at how much misinformation there is on the internet about anti-skating. I mean, there are even articles that talk about centripetal force from the spiral groove uh, causing uh, the arm to be pleased. Um, so what is anti-skating? Anti-skating is a force required to keep equal force on both sides of the stylus in the groove. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Why would there be uneven forces on each side of the stylus? Well, there are because if you look at almost every tone arm in the world, here's the tone arm, the head shell that's on the end of the tone arm, you'll notice, is cocked at an angle. Well, why do they do that? Hmm. Now, the reason they do it is because when you have a pivoting tone arm, it traces an arc across the playing surface of the record. Okay, well, so what are we talking about? Well, what we're talking about is when you trace an arc across the surface of the record, the stylus is rotating in the groove. The stylus is not tangential to the groove, 90 degrees to the groove, at all points in that arc. You say, well, why do they make pivoting tone arms? Well, the record's cut tangentially. Why don't we just play back the record tangentially? Well, you can. There are a lot of tangential arm systems on the market, but they're pretty complex and expensive. So a radial arm, or one that traces an arc across the playing surface, is easier to make. And the distortions resulting from it are minimal and certainly livable. So, well, but again, why do they cock the head shell? Well, they cock the head shell to give you what's called a proper overhang. And what this means is that during this arc across the record, there are two points at 120 millimeters and 66 millimeters where the stylus is perfectly 90 degrees to the groove at those two points. At other points, one side or cut or touching edge of the stylus is leading and the other is lagging in time and vice versa as it traces the arc. But it's a good compromise. And the longer the arm, the less the tracking error, error uh, that you have. And there are various alignment schemes you can use like Beowulf, Lofgren, or Stevenson. 